Hello and welcome to CloudChamp. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Postgres database on Ubuntu with PG Admin, which is a Postgres client, step by step. So you can see this is an Ubuntu machine which is 20. Let's go and install Postgres on this. Before we start with the video, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to my channel for more cloud and DevOps videos. Let's start. So to install Postgres, I'm going to go to the official documentation by Postgres. So I can, this is the official documentation, which is on www.postgresql.org. I'm going to install my Postgres from this website. I'm going to click on download option and select the Linux operating system. If you want to download it for Mac OS, Windows or any other operating system, you can select that. As I'm using Linux, I'm going to select the Linux and the Ubuntu flavor. If you're using Debian, Red Hat, SUS or any other Linux, you can use any of them. I'm going to download this on my Ubuntu machine. So you can see the list of commands present here. So let's copy the first command, which is to create the file repositories of the configuration. So this is an important step. You need to run this command or else you might face some issues. So I'm going to paste that in my terminal. And I'm going to use my command as I'm using the sudo command. Next command is to add the repository signing key. So import the repository signing key with this command. You should get the output as OK. So I'm going to paste this command and if I press enter, I should get OK here. So I get an OK, which means there's no problem. Next, I'm going to update all my packages. So update all the packages so that it is all up to date. So I'm going to update all my packages with sudo apt update and it is updating all my packages. Next command is to install the install Postgres. So if you want to have a specific version, let's say you want to install Postgres 12, you can just put in the Postgres 12, Postgres SQL 12 instead of just Postgres. But if you want to download the latest version, you can just run, run this command. So I'm going to download the latest version, but if you want to download any other version, let's say 12, you can do it by, by pasting the command and adding the version as well. But I'm not going to add any version because I want to get the latest version. So I'm going to pay this command and run, press enter. So now you can see it's installing Postgres and it will start installing all the dependencies and the Postgres package as well. So the so Postgres is installed, is installing now. So you can see it's, we are downloading the Postgres SQL 14 version, which is the latest right now at this moment. All right, so now it says Postgres has been installed. Let me clear this and see what version do I have. To check the command of the Postgres database that is installed in my machine, I'm going to run the command PSQL, which stands for Postgres SQL hyphen capital V. And it says we have installed Postgres 14 on my Ubuntu machine. So now we, we have installed Postgres. Let's go and install the PG admin 4 version, which is the client for Postgres database. So to install PG admin, you just need to run the command sudo pg at sudo apt install pg admin 4 and this will install your pg admin it's get and i'm going to pass in y because i'm sure i want to go ahead and install this pg admin 4 and all the packages along with it if i search for pg admin right now it's not yet downloaded and you can you cannot see it here but once it is downloaded we should see it in our machine thousand years later so now pg admin has been downloaded as well and if i search for pg admin in my machine you can see pg admin is installed here so let's go and so you can see pg admin is installed and we can open it so this is how you install pg admin this is how you install pg admin and postgres on ubuntu machine so now you can see pg admin is installed i just need to pass in my password and i am inside my pg admin you can see this is my local database. So this is how you install Postgres and PG admin on Ubuntu. If you understood this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And in the next video, we're going to see how to create databases and users in Postgres database. So check out if you want to learn how to create databases and users in Postgres. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more cloud and DevOps videos. Thank you.